Hello and welcome to another episode of Workshop Wednesday. In this episode, we're going to be looking to put our grip blasting cabinet on wheels. This location of the grip blaster here at the end of the workshop is quite good, however it does uh, bring some challenges. First of all, uh, there's not much space here if we want to get to our shaper, which we do want to get to soon, and it's right next to the mill and sometimes can limit travel of the table. So. To solve this, we're going to put it on wheels so that we can move it about when we need to. Bit of a disclaimer before we get too far into the video. This is probably going to be a two-part project because obviously these Workshop Wednesday videos go up halfway during the week. And during the week I have schoolwork to get on with and Dad has other stuff as well that would be delaying us from doing it all in one. However, the first thing we've done here is we put blocks under the legs of the grip blasting cabinet to simulate the casters. And now onto the challenges we face for mounting those casters using a frame. Now the frame we would make for this would be made out of some bits of this metal that we've got. Uh, and we have a number of these buckets that we would like to use to put different types of media in or to take out of the grip blaster which as you can see I put those blocks to match the height of the other ones and this slides under there nicely so the ideal height for this to be would be that however that would mean that the frame would have to be down here which doesn't really work because it needs to be mounted inside these legs really which would then bring the height up to here if the platform bit that goes in the middle was actually the same height as this so really that would be like that on here and that does not work at all we've had a bit a quick hunt around and we found these four lengths of two by one box section which will work for the frame and then we found this bit of block board that we can use for the middle part that we would sit the buckets on and the box go that way so we will need to be putting reinforcements uh, bars underneath it going that way the opposite way to give it some strength but first we need to cut this box section to length We've now got all of the frame cut now. On these joins, what we've done is we've cut like an L shape so that the end of the box section will be enclosed. The only other way we could think of of doing it, or another way we could think of of doing it, would have been to do it diagonally. However, the problem with that is that when you weld that up, you're then going to be drilling through that to mount the wheel there, and that's causes a weak point in it so we've done this instead and we've also got these two cross beams which will well somewhere on here just like that so that they will be the supports for the bit of wood which will go in here but what we'll now do is clean all of this up ready for when we weld it all together We've finished cleaning up all of the four corners where it's going to be welded. 
We've put this corner in a 90 degree clamp here, because this is going to be the first one that we weld. Then all of the other ones have these magnetic 90 degree uh, clamps in, just to be sure. And we have measured the two diagonals, that one and that one, and they are both the same, which is good. Uh, which means that we can now tack up this corner. What we're going to do is tack up each corner and then move around, moving the 90 degree clamps the one we're working on, and then we'll actually weld it properly afterwards. We've now tacked up all of the frame and we've put it inside the legs down there to make sure it fits and it does, which is good. So what we're now going to move on to is welding up everything properly. Everything is welded up now and we've cleaned up all of the welds. You can see we also have welded these triangles in the corners and drilled through uh, for the holes for the wheels and test fitted one of the wheels. Now we mainly put this uh, triangle on out of 3mm steel uh, firstly because it adds a bit of strength around where the wheels mounted and we drilled these holes uh, in all four of them which will make it easier to fix down the wooden board that's going to be sitting on there. But what I shall now do is sand it down ready for some paint. We've sanded down the metal a bit now, and we've got some red paint here, which will hopefully give a vague or, or like a rough um, colour match to what is on the grit blaster, or at least it's better than some other random colour. So what we're going to do is now just paint this, uh, and you don't need to sit there watching me just quickly a brush over this with the paint and it will take a while to dry afterwards and it's getting late now so we'll probably end this video here and continue this project in next week's workshop Wednesday so that's it for this video I hope you've enjoyed I'll get this painted and I'll see you in the next one bye